Hi everyone, hope you're all okay and having a great week and I hope you're all getting plenty of knitting and crocheting done and whatever other crafting you do. Um, I just wanted to start doing some videos on tips for Ravelry really. Um, you know, I'm always learning something new and finding out things that I didn't even know existed on Ravelry and I thought that it would be good to share these tips so a few months ago I found a, a really good tip to do with the Ravelry library and that is when you find a pattern that you want if it's free then instead of just straight downloading that pattern in onto your computer or phone or whatever add it to your library because if that pattern becomes a paid for pattern and you've only downloaded it you will have to pay if you want to download it again but if you put it into your Ravelry library and that pattern then becomes a paid for pattern you don't have to pay you can download it as many times as you like as long as it's in your library now if you pay for a pattern it automatically goes into your library and your purchases so you don't have to worry about that but there's there was a designer who um, put all of her gorgeous crochet hats up for free she was going to be leaving Ravelry and she put them all up for free so I downloaded every single one and then a few months later she decided she was going to keep them and put them at six dollars each and because I hadn't added them to my library I would have had to pay for every single one but I have lost some of those patterns on one of those little memory sticks I have no idea where it's gone but I'm lucky I've, I've still got a few of them but now if I want them I have to pay the six dollars to get them but if you don't even need that pattern at the moment but you really like it add it to your library you can download it whenever you want it's not taking up space on your computer or your phone it's stored there ready for when you need it and the other good thing is it, it automatically goes into the subsection it fits in so a cardigan would go under cardigan things like that and it makes it easier for you to find so <coughs> if you are new or you don't use Ravelry very often and always like to look through the patterns and think oh I've, I've just not got the space to put this on my phone click and add it to your library also because the designers work so hard to design the pattern so much time and effort goes into it if you do like the pattern and you have saved it into your library downloaded whatever just give it a heart because then it shows the designer that people are loving what she's doing and also are grateful for the pattern that she I'm saying she there's a lot of male designers as well so sorry about that um but it's always best to add to your library and then you can download it whenever you like any time and the only time it will be missing from your library is if you physically remove it you can't if you lose your phone you've still got your patterns if you lose your your little memory stick your patterns are still there and still in the library paid for and free so you'll always be able to download them and i, I really hope that this tip helps and you find it useful if you don't quite understand what I mean and would like me to do a video to show you then just let me know in the comments or if you didn't like the way I explained something please just let me know and I will change what I'm doing but I thought maybe every couple of weeks or once a month put up a new Ravelry tip because there's so much to learn about Ravelry it is absolutely amazing 
and it is the best resource for knitters, crochets, loom knitting, even weaving now, and yarn lovers. There's links from patterns to yarn, to different yarns that people have used, to suggested patterns for yarns. Also, clicking on the yarns, you can get links to go to the shops. Some of them you have little check prices on. Um, you can click on the pattern and also find out so much information. So, there's so much to learn. And if you're new to Ravelry or don't even understand Ravelry, then join. And I'm not kidding you, you will absolutely love Ravelry. You can keep track of your projects and everything like that. So, I'm going to do this in maybe parts part one two three four but it will be a different section of Ravelry each time so I just hope it helps people because when I found it out it was a great help to me and I was gutted that I didn't know about from when I joined in 2010 so that's a lot of patterns that I missed out on but um, if it helps just one person but um, thank you also for all of your support and um, I hope this video helps. Um, take care and I'll see you soon. Bye.